If you had one shot, or one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted, one moment that you captured, just let it slip. Yo. Teams from North and South Carolina collected titles in five of the six boys divisions and will now advance to the U.S. Youth Soccer National Championships. Dallas Texans 95 Red of North Texas and Castle Elite of North Carolina played scoreless soccer through 70 minutes of regulation. They that forced their under 14 boys final into penalty kicks. In the deciding phase, North Carolina prevailed 3-1 from the mark. Very hard full game, um, you know, six games in six days with this kind of heat has been tough on any player, so um, we knew that we were up against us. We had a lot of injuries, I think, leading into the game, but the boys dug really deep and it was a very tight, full, hard full game. It could have gone either way. It was a hot day. I mean, the team played tough. I mean, we had to work every single game. Um, I don't know. It was tough, you know, the team stayed together, finally put one away and we just kind of locked it in and finished the game out. Oh, it's a phenomenal achievement for the boys to, to end their seasons uh, with this kind of opportunity is phenomenal. I mean, we, we got there last year uh, and uh, uh, won regionals last year and it was an incredible experience and one that they never forget. So to have this opportunity again is a once in a lifetime set up again for them to, to go in and do this again. So we're really excited for them and hopefully they can go one better this year. Just when it looked like the under-15 boys final between SESA 93 Gold of North Carolina and Tulsa Soccer Club 94 Black of Oklahoma might head into penalty kicks, North Carolina's Kyle Parker had other ideas. Parker scored about five minutes to the first extra period, a tally that held for the duration as North Carolina claimed a 1-0 win and a trip to the Nationals. CESA 92 Premier of South Carolina waited until there was less than 10 minutes remaining in the under-16 boys final with Dallas Texans 93 Red of North Texas to find the back of the net. However, Ricardo Garbanza didn't just put South Carolina ahead with one goal, he gave them some extra breathing room by adding a second. Garbanza's first goal was in the 81st minute and his second came two minutes later. The under-17 boys final was scoreless to the 40th minute until a Triangle United of North Carolina gave Lone Star 92B Red of South Texas an early edge in the 41st minute before North Carolina's Ezra tied things up just before halftime in the 52nd minute. In the 52nd minute, Justin Franz put South Texas ahead once again, but 10 minutes later North Carolina answered when Sebastian Gardner scored the first of his two goals. A Christian Alfonso goal in the 74th minute added to North Carolina's edge and Gardner's second tally in the 88th ended the day's scoring. Enzo Martinez found the back of the net twice for DSC 90 Green of South Carolina in their 5-1 victory over 91 Norcross Fury Gold of Georgia. In the under-18 boys final, Martinez first scored in the 48th minute, adding a second goal in the 83rd for South Carolina, who also got goals from George Curry, Andrew Garaspi, and Ralph Lundy. Well, the 5-1 victory we came away with today was was just a, a total heart, passion, desire, all the intangibles that you know only the kids could control, because two great teams played today, and and you know I mean that that game could have been a toss up either way. Um, you know we talked about our guys. We faced a lot of adversity this week with the weather, and two two key starters were out injured today. So you know I think that when you look at the the scoreline and how the game went. It's got to come down to the guys' passion and the desire and their will to win. And, you know, to produce a 5-1 performance against a quality team like Norcross, it's just a testament to them. We're extremely pumped. We've just been talking about this all week. And to uh, actually do it is a, just a dream come true for all of us. We've been working about five years trying to get this to be complete, but finally did it. Was... Heading into Nationals, we're going to stress the same thing we've always stressed. We're going to stress to go and enjoy it. We're going to stress to work hard take care of your intangibles and run the system. The boys under 19 final came down to penalty kicks after Dallas Texans Houston 90 Red of South Texas and NASA 08 Elite of Georgia finished regulation and overtime tied 2-2. Luis Busto put South Texas ahead in the 27th minute, but Russell Thompson answered for Georgia in the 44th. South Texas took a 2-1 lead when Christopher Devo found the back of the net in the 65th minute. However, 20 minutes later, Mark Lavery drew things level for Georgia. It took 10 kicks by each team to reach a final verdict, but Georgia prevailed 10-9.
too gumshoe, too much of a newcomer, and too uncool. Like Shadow and Laville, I battle with it well. Though I need a holiday like Lady Who Sung Blue. Go back, whatever you did, you undo. Heavy as heaven, the devil on me, two tons too. If you are what you say you are.